Hello, it's the Moat, and welcome back. This is episode 7 of my Fruit Servers Survival Series. Uh, this is the uh, extent of my building so far. I'm building up on this hill. Uh, the last couple of videos, you saw the hill back over there. Um, and if I spin that way, oops, can't quite see it. Uh, I, White Curious Lion's igloo is down behind me over that direction. All right, we've had a couple of changes on the server, and I wanted to go over those real quickly uh, while we do this episode and see if we can get that going here. Um, Let's get back to a good view. One of them is that we have now uh, replaced our previous protection plugin, which was the lightweight container, LWC, uh, with a new one um, for various and sundry reasons. The new one is called Locket, and I want to show you how to use it. Now, the C modify and the C info commands I've shown you in other, in other videos for fruit servers no longer work. All you need to do now to, to um, lock your chest is literally to have a sign, and there are some available at Warp Sign and a few other places for right now, but obviously you can just make them very quickly. And all you have to do is throw it on the front. Now that was just a right click, no shift right click or anything like that. And it makes it private for me and me only. Now if I wanna put a sign on here to type on, then I am going to shift right click, and now I can type whatever I want. Except it won't fit. There we go. All right, and now there's a sign on the side of it. Right. This doesn't affect the locking. It is still locked. It's just I can put it on whatever I want. Now, if I want to add people, all I have to do, let me get that out of there, excuse me, is just right click this sign and then do lock, then the line number I want to modify, and for one and two are already taken. So I'm going to add somebody at line three. So I'm going to add my son. There he is. And we can just keep doing that. And you don't have to re hit it. So uh, I did that time, but I'll show you in just a minute. You don't have to do that. So line four. And we'll do a cranky uh, curmudgeon. All right, boom. And so now any of us can get in there. Signs don't have to be on the front, right? They can be anywhere. I was wondering where that went. So you can put it on the back. And there it is. If we want to change it, I'll, I'll show you this time. So it's just the one right click. And then I can do uh, lock uh, line three. is going to be a little there. And... With, I didn't, I'm not right clicking again. I'm just going to actually go take that one and adds it in. So this works also for double chests. All you have to do is put one on and it locks the entire chest. Now, one of the great things about this is that it works now on shulker boxes. So if I go bang, that's now my own private shulker box. It also works on hoppers and on furnaces. Now, one thing I haven't checked, let's just try it real quick. Uh, that this um, hopper see is connected to that furnace so if we put uh, if I put these in here yeah, that's what I thought so we used to have chopper right which would allow turn on sort of this allow this hopper to drop into that furnace but with this control if I have this one locked down it does not allow it to pass through so if I want to do something like an automated setup then I need to uh, unlock it. So you notice I unlocked the hopper, not the furnace, right? All right, so that does mean people could come and grab something from your hopper, be aware of that. Obviously we're a, a, a trust-based community in so many ways, and so if there's problems, just let the, the staff know, but uh, be conscious of it, let's not open up any problems. Now, one th the, it does not work on doors, or excuse me, on trap doors like this. It does not open work on gates. Um, I can put a sign there, but it won't actually do anything. And I'm pretty sure this won't work either. So I'm going to shift right click. And I don't think you can do this, but that might be kind of interesting to see. Uh, and then there. Oh, yeah, so it just sticks a sign up there. It doesn't really do anything. You would have noticed something down here talking about uh, adding in the, uh, the privacy. So, no. Uh, it also doesn't work on... Uh, enter chest, which makes some sense because that's pretty much locked to you anyway. Uh, but it doesn't work on enchantment tables. Uh, so that's all right. Um, now, this is all explained really, really well. So if you're not following all of this, just remember uh, warp lock it, L O C K E T T E, not three T's, just L O C K E T T E. And uh, who's it? Seal uh, Rosen. Cosin, or Seal Cosin, and I apologize if I've mis I mispronounced your name, 
has done this wonderful work that explains exactly everything I just talked about. In fact, I took all of my suggestions from this. Uh, it explains exactly what you can do, and I'll show you the door here in just a minute. That's one I had forgotten. And then it also talks about how to add other people in. You can also use this everyone tag down here, which will make it for everybody, which means everybody can get into it. Um, so that, you know, I'm not quite sure why you do that versus just not locking it, but that's possible. Uh, if you do a chest shop, so in other words, you set up a chest to sell some goods, right? And you saw how to do that in one of the other videos. Uh, you do not have to lock it with the new locket because it's already locked that way. Here is an example of some of the things that don't work. I already mentioned the ender chest and the uh, enchanting table, excuse me. Uh, it also doesn't work on anvils, droppers, or dispensers. Uh, and I already mentioned the gates and there's some information about there. All right. So, uh, and then item frames, I think, let's see. Yes, uh, item frames are also now locked automatically. But let me go back and show you uh, real quickly. Let's see the doors. So there's my construction up there. One of these days I'll actually try to finish it. Um, so let me just run down in here and take a look. I got my beacons up there, but you can see. So here's the door. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and just set it up because I want to show you real quick this. And pick that up. Now for a door, it doesn't have to be on the door. You can put it there, but you, you can put it right directly above. And now that door is locked to me. And the exact same thing we did before you just right click uh yeah right click it and then you can do right add the same names just like before if you need more space or more names then once you it don't it won't work on the sides here right that'll be just a normal sign like so if i do this right it's just a normal sign so that's useless uh for what we want to do but if i want to add more for locking the door it's great for labeling things obviously but if we want to do something here then what we can we can do is we come down here. I want to show you something special it does for um, doors, which is that you can do lock the line number again, and then do bracket timer. It doesn't have to be capitalized, and then you can put essentially a number of seconds. Once so I put that on there, that timer hits. When I hit that door open, it'll only last. It'll stay open for about a second, and then it'll close. If you put it two seconds, it'll stay open for two seconds. Now the other cool thing, hey hilltop, where'd my sign go? Hmm, sorry, maybe I got it back right. The other cool thing about the doors is that it works on double doors. Oops. All right. Now, not only is it cool that it, so let me take this off real quick. All right. If I, uh, right, without this, it just goes ahead and opens one door at a time. They're individual and independent, right? But if I just put one sign above them someplace, it doesn't matter which one. Now they both open, which is really kind of cool, and they both close. And you can do the exact same thing here with adding your friends, right? Same thing. And if you need, now I think this will work. Let me see. Yep, because it's two doors wide, you can use the second space up above here. So that's kind of nice. Now, if we go ahead and do this and we do the timer, there it is. And now look, the doors open, they stay open for a second, and closed. Excellent. I have noticed on occasion, because I get in the habit of going through and then, oops, <laughs> or not going through, and then closing the door, that I can get them out of sync so that the door stays, the door timer opens the door rather than closes it. And so that's an issue. If uh, there's a, a command that's supposed to fix it, I have not found that that works, so I'm not going to bother to tell you it. Uh, what I did find is if I just took these off and put them back on, it worked just fine. It's pretty rare to get it off cycle like that. But if you end up with your door timing open rather than closed, just take off the sign and put it back up there. That works really well. All right, so that's the basics of the new locket, right? So that's our new protection plugin. Uh, and like I said, it's all really well explained by uh, that warp locket. And thank you very much for making that warp. Uh, that's a really fabulous resource that was really, really helpful. All right, so having done that, I'm gonna take a short break. I wanna show you something because we're kind of running through time here real pretty quickly. I wanted to show you, oh, wait a minute, before I do that, uh, one of the things is that because what was, what was also, uh, the reason we lost the the permissions, uh, the previous lightweight chess, is because we lost a drive. When we lost a drive on the server, we also, and I apparently lost my, my memory and or my mind, 
Uh, we also lost our MCMMO stats. Now, I've, I've already repopulated a lot of mine, but they were all set back to zero. Now, for a limited time, right around the, the, this change, which just happened last week, if you go to the survival store, right, on the website, and you look down at the limited items, and you'll see one down there that's called, I think it's the bottom, it says something like compensation. If you grab that, you will get um, 500 MCMMO levels that you can use wherever you need to using the, the redeem command, right? So they'll show up, right? I've used all mine, but you can assign them out through that. And you'll also receive a fruitster's key, which is the, the kind of the top of the less level chest if you want to do that. So if you're lamenting the loss of your MCMMO stats, you can go and get that. The, the, the server owner has provided that for us. All right, so I'm going to take a short break and we'll be right back. I want to show you, uh, I'm going to continue showing you some of the lands around here. And uh, I'm going to throw on some shaders since it's, well, yeah, yeah I'm going to throw on some shaders because they're a pretty cool effect when we get over there. So uh, give me a moment and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. We're over at Paradise Lake. This is uh, a area that was staked out by Le Commandant and uh, some other of his folks like Fox NC and Wolf. Um, sorry, I'm forgetting the last name Wolf right now. The rest of the name Wolf. Uh, so it's a it's a beautiful little beginning of the build here. Um, Le, Le Commandant, uh, okay, I'll go through the water, uh, posted about it. And look at that. Now this is, I've got shaders on. Um, and these are the floating torches, which are really a beautiful effect. You can get that through the magic carpet donor perk where you can kind of fly, but you end up with a series of clear blocks below you. You can put a torch on one of those. And if you leave it there, when you move on, it stays floating. So it's a really pretty effect here. Um, I really like this. Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna switch over to one other shader. This is, um, uh, I forgot which shader this is right now. I'll show you here real quick. And then we'll pause for a second while I swap shaders because it's, it's really different effects in my opinion. Uh, so let's go ahead and, so right now I'm using the Cybox Shaders Ultra. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the um, regular Seuss Shaders. There we go. Alrighty. And it gives it sort of a more of a warm glow, you know, kind of the, the, the more of the orange texture for the lights. But just look at that reflection off the light, off the water. It's just beautiful. You can see up there, if it was daytime, you could see that there's a... Uh, Big version of one of the players uh, over here says I'm a fox I think this is Fox NC's house up at the top we won't be able to go up and see that there's a beautiful build up there of a tower of some sort I don't know whose that is uh, but very pretty um, so really quite nice and then they've got some neat construction over here let's see if we can go over and catch it I apologize if this turns out really dark in the video sometimes when I post them to YouTube it just they get much darker but a very nice little area here. This is Paradise Lake. So, uh, Le, Le Commandant and, Gen and uh, crew, you guys are doing a beautiful job. Look at all this water around it. Doing a beautiful job. It really looks nice. Looking forward to see what you do with it in the long run. Um, now, one of the things you can't see right now, and I'll, I'll turn off the shaders here in a second, but there, this is a block of, of um, colored glass. Couldn't remember. <laughs> Uh, color glass and it, it's a way to get up to that structure up there. So uh, I'm going to turn off my shaders here real fast because it gets just too hard to see. Otherwise, I'll give it a moment to clear that. There we go. All right. And we'll go trot up there real quick. So this is still a very pretty effect. I like it, but the shaders sure do add a lot. All right. So uh, now I'm probably going to embarrass myself by falling off these at some point. I did it several times last night for some reason. Uh, these were my nemesis. Oh, if I run off the edge, I'd be the worst. But, okay, well, so far. There we go. All right. So now you can see, uh, I'm assuming that's Fox NC's location up there. Uh, we can't see the one that's up there now. But you can see they've done a lot of work up top. Here's our um, player. Let me go back out here so we can see it real quick. There you go. I assume that's uh, Wolfie's. We're going to go into his place here in just a second. All right. Um, looks like it's still in progress here. Or hopefully this isn't a grief. Um, let's see, where is it? Some says something here. Uh, nope. All right. Oh, 
Could not get the right one here. I'll remember the name eventually. Here we go. There's their throne. Uh, the Wolf Prince, of course. Why do I think I'd remember that? So, you know, again, wonderful use of the micro blocks. That's a really pretty effect inside. I love this, uh, the extra green, the leaves out there. Um, so you guys, this is a good start. Uh, and then they've got some neat houses down here. So here is uh, Corman One's house. They're building it. Some very nice structures. All kinds of good stuff out here. So there we go. Guys, if you're interested in taking a look at some pretty builds, we visited uh, Warp Mermaids last time. And this time we visited Warp uh, Paradise Lake. All right. So uh, let's turn around so you can see something pretty here. Uh, all right. And we're going to go ahead and call that quits. I wanted to give you guys a reminder about the change for lock it. Right? So now you know how to lock your stuff. Your stuff is unlocked if you haven't put the signs on it. So it's no longer locked by the lightweight um, chest uh, protection plugin like we had before. That plugin has not been supported, has not been kept up to date, and therefore it's just causing some problems since we had to get rid of it. Uh, so the new one is important. You have to go ahead and grab that and make sure you go ahead and lock your stuff up. Uh, and now you can lock your shulker boxes, so that's good. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions on where you'd like me to show, because I want to show off showcase player builds, please let me know. Uh, I would love to do that. I was going to go show you Chip City, but I haven't been able to catch Chip recently. Uh, so we'll try to get over there and see that one of these times. And I have a few others I'd like to see. But if you have suggestions, or if you have commands, or, or things you want to learn about, or things that we might know about, or uh, you want more, want might want more information about please go ahead and, and let me know in the comments you can catch me in game uh, the other thing guys if you haven't already done this you can also do you can mail me in game right so you can do mail send you know the moat uh hi you know do a video do a video um on my house you know uh, but tell me who you are and know where it is uh so if you don't see me in game you can always just send me a piece of mail and i will get um mail right so then when i do that I will see, oops, sorry, <laughs> if I remember the commands properly. If I do mail read, there I go, I see my own mass message. So if you want to send me a message you don't catch me on online, feel free to do that. And the next time I get on, I'll see that message and uh, then I can know, you know some of the things you'd like to see. You can also leave it on the YouTube channel. It's a half dozen ways to grab, to grab me that way. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching the video and I will catch you guys on the flip side.